what is Orchid Facilitator program and why everyone is talking about it. We'll talk about it in this video and know what is the criteria to become a facilitator, how you can win certificates and goodies in this video will cover each and everything. But before we start, make sure to subscribe the channel and do hype the video. So let's come to the main page. So you need to understand what is the Arcade program. So it is a no cost program by Google where you learn about data, AI, ML, all things free of cost and you complete some badges and you get some rewards. Now Arcade program occurs twice a year. It is a six month event from Jan to June and July to December. But Arcade Facilitator is an add-on. Like it's not compulsory to participate in the Arcade Facilitator program. You can just get the basic facts using the Arcade program only. But in Arcade Facilitator program, we have some cool facts over here. So what do you need to understand that here the timeline duration is of two months. Okay, so in two months only you have to complete the program like complete the badges and you get some goodies. Now let's decode this program first as a facilitator. So here you can see I have prepared a flow chart for all of you. So as I have already explained that it's a six month program which occurs twice a year. Okay, now facilitator program here two roles are there. In arcade program you have to become only student only. But in facilitator program there are two roles. One is student, one is facilitator. We'll talk about facilitator facilitator first of all now as a facilitator you need to enroll students under you okay like you are participating in arcade as a facilitator just like if you have any uh, college event you organize hackathons or any event in your college okay you take their registrations and make them enroll so what is the role of a facilitator if you become a facilitator I'll talk how you can become but if you become a facilitator you need to enroll minimum 100 students and those students must be active they have to complete the badges and then they complete badges you'll be getting the cool swag so here as a facilitator you have to do only one batch which is a facilitator batch that is mostly one lab only and rest part will be done students under you they need to complete the labs as soon as they progress you'll be getting the swags now what swags you are getting some cool swags which i'll show you in the later part of the video and certificate certificate is officially from google sign so it's holds credentials okay it's a valid credentials unlike the normal credentials which you see across the web now here uh, benefit is that that if you participate as a facilitator you'll be getting swags from arcade also okay you can see this is the arcade swags so if you become a facilitator you'll be getting the facilitator swags also and the arcade swags whichever they are mentioning in the that cohort okay this will be updated in the next cohort so do not worry about it and you'll be getting early access like you'll be getting early access from school events like becoming a facilitator again and any study jam events similarly it's normal you can ignore it there is no issue now these two are main things if you have a community Community. like if you have good college community you can onboard minimum 100 students then you can become a facilitator okay now if you cannot become a facilitator you can always become a student now here is a drawback and benefit also if you become a student in the arcade facilitator program like you are completing the badges okay you are not leading the program you will be getting bonus points okay you will be getting some bonus points here which you can use for claiming the swags if i have to explain for example if i have to explain in simple words okay they will update the criteria if you just see the point system also they have mentioned the milestone so here you can see 46 plus 25 equals 71 so imagine someone having 46 arcade point only jumping to 71 points now what he had to do he or she had to do only four points and reach from champion you can see from two per the highest jump is champion so like this it will help you to jump in the tire so in the arcade facilitator program the role of the bonus point is this only now here many people are asking do we create need to create a email account every year so the answer is yes if you want to participate in the facilitator program you need to create a fresh email why because in this cohort only many people have completed 50 plus skill badges 20 plus skill badges even if you have completed arcade games also there is no issue but if you have completed any skill badges or if you participated in previous year facilitator program you need to create a new gmail account and new cloud skills boost account all the resources i will show you in the later part of the video do not worry about it so this is the main thing you need to create new gmail new email every time okay so now here what is the benefit of facilitator program as i already said 
that it gives you bonus points which helps you to claim the swags. For example, you can see this is a quick chart for you to understand. In the facilitator program, you have to complete some lab free courses and skill badges. In previous cohort, many of the students reported that we have completed some lab free courses, some skill badges due to which they were unable to reach the ultimate milestone. So this is a thing we always recommend start fresh and currently the registration is not started. Whenever it will start, I will update it. Now coming to the facilitator program, which I told this video is basically for both of the people. So here I have prepared a guidebook. So first thing you need to understand, you have to fill the interest form. How will find the interest form? You can see this is the video. Okay, I will link this video if you just come over here then you can simply search also in the search box you can just type become a facilitator okay so you can watch this video okay the hidden benefits i have already made a video regarding it and here yes this is the video you need to watch it here if i just show you a quick clip show you you can clearly see that this is the video like how you have to fill all the details and how to submit the form all the guidance is available over here you can watch this video and understand each and everything okay so this is the video which you can watch to fill the uh, registration form of the becoming facilitator currently it's open now what is the criteria once you fill the form they will be doing the shortlisting like uh, they will just check your uh, shortlisted like whatever you have mentioned in the email i mean the form they will just verify the details whether you are perfect candidate or not then they will send you a shortlisted email it will be around before one to two months of the facilitator program start so if you fill the form you won't get the mail instantly once you have been shortlisted you have to fill a nomination over here like you have to select a facilitator like you have been selected by google itself now you have given a chance to select anyone you can select your parents sisters friends anyone so two facilitator will be there okay now here once you are selected you have to fill the nomination form in this selection email and reply to that email okay now here you need to understand that you have to enter your legal name do not use any random name while filling the form your legal name because they will ask for your government id while filling the form so you need to take care of it yes you heard it right they'll be asking your government id also so once you have filled all these things and you are selected now this is the basic sample milestone and it will be updated like it will be updated like 1000 games 1500 trivia games like here out of uh, you have to come you don't have to complete these games your students like 600 participants join under you if they complete one game each 600 participant it will show 600 games similarly 500 trivia and 1400 skill patches so these all things have to be done by students you'll be guiding them okay a facilitator role is to guide the participants now coming to the student as you already see this is the criteria we have shared and it will be updated every year okay now here you can see these are the facts for the facilitator program which facilitator gets not the students so you can get some cool swags like this and if you want to participate you can check it out now for any queries you can comment down below if you still have any doubts you can just let me know so if i have to summarize the facilitator program for the student is only for bonus points and new gmail new cloud skills boost account is required every cohort similarly for the facilitator you can use old account also but if you want to earn swags also you can just create a new account and just take part in it here as a facilitator your role is to lead the students and if you cannot onboard 100 students then join as a facilitator uh, as a student only okay so if even if you board 100 students and they are not doing any labs then you won't be getting any swags and certificates so this was the quick thing i wanted to share and if you have any query let me in the comment section for this only i have prepared a course uh, you can just come over here what is the arcade program how to become uh, how to complete skill badges when is the cohort to here is the zero to hero guidance like how you can start your account how to create a cloud skills boost account all things are covered this is a little bit detailed but all your queries will be covered over here and regarding this how to become a facilitator i will link this form video also in the description box you can watch it so this was the quick update regarding the arcade and arcade facilitator program do like the video and subscribe the channel have a great day ahead